Hello everyone. Welcome to the webinar. My name is Suraj and hope all of you are doing well. Today the subject is dynamic QR code configuration. We know about quick response code. Nowadays the quick response code or QR code that is very much popular for all types of industries. They are using the QR code for various purposes. Today let us see the QR code implementation in busy software, how to configure that, what is the benefit of that QR code, how to use that. So this is the subject today. Primarily, we will see the presentation with the help of PPT. Then we will see the practical demonstration regarding the subject. Then end of this subject, end of this webinar, we will take the question and answer session. If you have any kind of query questions or anything, you, you can ask the query in chat box, Q and A chat box. We will answer your query. So let us begin the session. What is QR code? Quick response code. A QR code, it is called as quick response code is a type of two dimensional barcode that is used to provide easy access to online information through the digital camera on a smartphone or tablet. Here, quick re response code is called as QR code and it is made with the help of hash technology. So, and this QR code is used to provide various types of information after the scanning of this QR code, our smartphone, tablet or digital camera will analyze the particular information and they'll give, they'll give the output. So this QR code is very much popular nowadays. We are using the QR code for various purposes. In next slide, let us see what are the benefit of QR code. That is called users of QR code. Here, the QR code is mainly used for the, that is called to analyze the product. That is, you know that in a box, internally we have the product, but top of the box, we have one QR code. The concerned person or the any uh, person, he will scan that QR code, then he will get the information about that product. What product it, or what product it is, and what is the frequency, what is the voltage, what is the what is the uh, type of product it is and every information they will get after scanning this QR code. So this is the one way of advantage. Nowadays, many of the products externally in that box itself, we are getting the QR code. Once we scan the QR code, then we will get the information about that product. The second use is on a business card or posters and a brochures to share the contact details. It may be website contact details. It may be social media contact details like Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, any other website related links, or it may be email ID, anything it may be. So we are sharing that kind of information via QR code because QR code is very, very attractive code and it, it, it was looking like very beautiful as well as internally it having the sum of the information, but no one, they, no one, they don't know that what information it have, but internally they have the information. Anybody scans that QR code, then only he will get the output. Here, nowadays, we are using the QR code for the business card sharing purpose. Once we scan that QR code, then we will get the information about company, company website, company address, company location, company website, anything it may be. Also, we are sharing the marketing and promotional, promotional related posters, our product details, our services we are offering to the customers that also we are sharing with the help of QR code also some kind of brochures. We're generating the QR code 
in internally that qr code will contains the browser related information once the person will scans that qr code he will get entire product information this is the second inform second use and third point is as a marketing tool of as a marketing tool for brands on their advertisement campaigns and promotions qr codes can be integrated into print media like uh, billboards mag magazines or leaflets etc so we know that many of the newspapers and uh, magazines even they also printing this kind of qr code for their promotional activity purpose campaigning advertisement purpose the user or subscriber will scans the qr code <laughs> directly he will get that information so this is the important thing here another way another purpose of qr code is nowadays payment qr code it's much popular everybody they are using the uh, using this qr code for the payment purpose phone pay google pay paytm many other applications they are using this qr code for payment transfer after scanning the qr code immediately they are able to send the amount to the concerned person next advantage is to provide temporary access to files or online content this is also very important any any of the online content if you want to access it then this qr code will give the temporary permission to access that files so these are the advantages of qr code going forward in next slide let us see qr code in busy quick response code in busy here busy will have two types of qr codes static qr code and dynamic qr code static qr code it's nothing but cannot be changed static qr code cannot be changed but dynamic qr code is nothing but it can be changed and it can be edited and shared easily it can be changed this is the difference between static qr code and dynamic qr code here the static qr code it is nothing but this information in the static qr code will be fixed and the same details will be printed every time like website information location information or product information or menu information brochures etc here the static qr code it's nothing but it's a text field but dynamic qr code this information printed in a dynamic qr code will keep changing depending on the transactions like upi payment gate pass etc it it means for example the customer visited our shop and he was purchased the product and the product value is 100 rupees end of the transaction he will receives the invoice copy saying that value saying that 100 rupees then he will pay the amount 100 rupees that is variable transaction and one more customer will come come the shop come uh, come the shop and he will purchase the product with the value of 200 rupees here 100 and 200 this value will be remain not remains constant it will be keep on changing customer to customer product to product it was keep on changing so that kind of field that is that kind of value it is called as dynamic qr code and that kind of field it should be configured with the help of dynamic qr code generally the dynamic qr code it was using by our payment upi configuration as well as gate pass upi payment configuration that we know that phone pay google pay scanning that kind of qr code will be that that is called as payment upi qr code but gate pass it means whenever we are transfer or sending the goods from one place to another another place that time we, we will raising one purchase invoice or any delivery chalan that particular transaction details or invoice details will be configured with this qr code and after successful scanning of this qr code 
the concerned person will get the information about goods what is the bill number what is the what is the customer name where he want to movement the goods from one place to another which place you want to move the goods what is the bill value what is the gst amount etc so nowadays we know that in a e invoicing electronic invoicing that is compulsory for which entity will have the turnover above 10 crores compulsorily they have to generate the e invoicing for the e invoicing purpose also the qr code is very important mandatory for that so the invoice copy will generates one qr code and that qr code will consist of entire invoice information along with e invoicing qr code irn number etc here today we are going to discussing about dynamic qr code in that dynamic qr code we are discussing about upi dynamic qr code that is called upi payment qr code as well as gate pass qr code the gate pass qr code is also the uh, also the similar to e invoicing qr code but here gate pass qr code is why required because any of the entity they are shifting the goods from one place to another that time in that bill copy one qr code will generate that qr code will consist of entire invoice history entire invoice invoice information will embedded in the in that qr code so that is called as gate pass once the uh, scanning have been done then the concerned person will get the information about invoice so that is called gate pass so this type of qr code that is available in busy by doing the practical session let me explain in detail about the static and dynamic qr code here this is the configuration of dynamic dynamic qr code and the dynamic qr code as well as static qr code both will looking similar but internally the data field are different here the configuration steps is like this step number 1 design a format to specify what all details qr code will contain like company gscn number party gscn number address or any other required information you have to decide that which type of information really you required in your qr code on that basis you can design the format with all details step number 2 add the format containing qr code details to the format in which device is to be printed after designing the format you have to add the format containing qr code we have one field called qr code in that field you need to configure the format you need to add the format and step number 3 is print the invoice after creating the transaction this will be the third step fourth step is scan the qr code printed on the invoice with a with a smartphone or other devices nowadays all the mobile applications mobile phones they'll have the play store or app store both we have the qr code scanner app qr code scanner app you have to download that application in your mobile phone then you if you are scanning the qr code means you will get the information about that qr here this is the step number 1 that is designing format for qr code it will be like this in busy software we have the invoice configuration advanced format designing on that you will have the option to create the format you can give the format name anything like qr info qr or anything it might it might be so after creation of the format name you have to design the header information the header information you need to configure by your side what are the field you required like company name gstn number invoice number invoice date buyer name gstn number bill amount tax amount anything it might be so that you have to decide and you can add the relevant field over the header portion then step number 2 screenshot are given here here you can decide that which format in which format you want to print your qr code whether it is a a4 size paper 
or whether it is a A5 size paper, three inch paper, four inch paper, which format you want to print that QR code, you need to select that format name first, go to the header or footer section, because normally the QR code will print only in a header and footer section. Body section, if you are printing the QR code, it's it, it's not look uh, so uh, beautiful. That is why we are suggesting you to add the QR code in header or footer section. Once we enter the footer designing section, there you will there you have to press the F4 shortcut key. Then you will get the QR code parameter field. That field you need to configure. That configuration I will explain in detail while I am doing the practical things. Here, this is the step number three that is printing invoices. So the printing of invoices will be normal. That is a same as like that normal print only. After the printing, you will get this type of invoice copy. And uh, if you are adding that QR code in footer section, it will be print in footer. Otherwise, if you add it in header section, then it should become top of the invoice. And this is the step number four scanning per scanning provision. We have the scanning application called QR code scanner that is available in Play Store as well as App Store. You need to download that application. After the scanning of QR code, this type of information you will get in your mobile. So how you get this information? Because already you are configuring such things in your busy software. That is why after the scanning, you will get this information. Here it is company name, GST number, invoice number, invoice date, buyer name, GST number, bill amount, everything you will get, get you, you, are, you are able to able to get from your mobile phone. This is the scanning method. So let me show you about the UPI QR code in busy. So previous slide, we had discussed about the static QR code configuration. But here, uh, sorry, dynamic QR code, dynamic QR code configuration of gate pass. But now let me explain you about dynamic QR code configuration of payment. We know that Paytm, PhonePay, Google Pay, Beam application, etc. Many of the payment gateway application, payment application that is available in market. If you want to configure the payment QR in busy, first you decide that which phone QR code is required. Suppose you required phone pay QR code, you have to download the QR code image or QR code in your phone pay application. Then you need to scan that QR code application with the help of get QR code mobile app. Then you will receive, you will get one link. So in that link, you have to configure certain things. Then you need to, you need to paste that link in your busy software. Then the U payment UPI code, it will work. So let me show you that in practical way. So here the steps for generating the proximity payment QR code is point number one, get the QR code. Point number two, know the parameter. The parameter I'll explain you by practically. And third number is configure the busy, configure in busy. And fourth number is all value pre-populated while scanning from PSP application. So this is the four steps we need to follow to configure the payment QR code in busy. So here we know that Beam application, Bharat money interface. So here Beam application, if you are using, you need to download the QR code available or generate QR code, that option that is available in your Beam app. You have to download that QR code and share that QR code in your computer screen or any WhatsApp application, anything it might be. Then you have to scan the QR code, scan the QR code with the help of QR code scan scanning application 
then you will get one this type of link this is the link we, we never we never configure directly that qr code into software the software will get the information via link not a qr code for that reason you have to scan the qr code get the qr code link and paste that qr code link into the software then only software will ready to work with this upi qr code information integration then only the software will configure software will start to reading that qr code so this is the way you need to configure in busy software here so this type of payment link you will get after scanning that qr code you need to paste that link in busy you have to do certain configuration here for the static qr code we are using the format name called t and dynamic qr code we are using the name called f that is called format name f and after the printing of invoice the qr code will be print like this so this is the qr code and now let us see the practical demonstration to configure this dynamic qr code in busy software so here this is the software now let me go to the configuration invoice document printing here advanced you have to select now i want to print the qr code in sales invoice so that you need to select sales invoice here a5 3 inch 4 inch sms these are the default formats that is already available in the software now i want to add the qr code in my 3 inch paper so now let me tell you how to add the qr code in 3 inch paper first step is you have to create one format name now i am adding the gate pass information in my invoice gate pass information and it consists of bill number bill date party name party gstn number company name bill value taxable amount etc that information will be printed in that qr code and let me show you how to configure that first of all you need to create one format name so that is example qr info this is the format name after adding the format name the format will be added here click on that then you select the header portion here you can design the relevant field as per your requirement for example let me add one data field by pressing the alt f4 alt f4 that shortcut key is used to adding the fields that field name is company name so i want to add the company name in first line so what i need to do i need to select the static text here i need to select the static text this is the company name and after that uh, here i need the character of 14 digits and next i want to add three space so that i i'm using the field called blank space i want to give three character space you can type three here then again press the alt f4 select the static text if you want to give the colon or some or dash like that you can add the symbol over here then again you press the alt f4 here you need to add the data field what data fields because company name that is called text field that's the static field now i want to add dynamic field here that is called company name this company name is the dynamic field because after adding this field the software will get the information from the software data but this is not like that this is the text field this is the text field this is not changing field it's a fixed field but this is not like that if you are changing the software data on that basis it will be printed into the invoice now i added the company information in first line and same thing i'm copying copy pasting here 
up to up to here and uh, paste here and this will be the company gst number for example this is the company gst number so next third line third line you can add it invoice number fourth i need invoice date fifth line i need buyer name this is the configuration for gate pass all field is not mandatory but as per your requirement you can customize the required field by like this again you paste the same value here buyer gst number this will be the buyer gst number next paste here and this will be the bill amount bill amount paste here and this will be the tax amount now i added all the static text field now i want to add the dynamic field how to add the dynamic field just you have to press alt f4 and company gst number in this list you have to search the company gst number this is the company gst number and again you press the alt f4 invoice number that is called vch number vch number here it is available select the field next line is invoice date vch date vch date that is available here vch date buyer name buyer name that field name is build party name build party name this is the field build party gst number by pressing the alt f4 you can search category wise you can search alphabetical wise or you can search name wise you can search the alphabetical wise like this also so now i want to search my build party gstn number so that is available here build party gstn number build party build amount build amount is nothing but amount grand total this is the value this is the field tax amount what is tax amount tax amount means if i press the alt f4 tax amount bill tax amount you can select this field so in this way you can configure relevant fields by pressing the alt f4 shortcut key then you can save the configuration after the configuration you can decide that in which format you want to print this qr code information now let me select 3 inch paper this one in 3 inch paper i want to print my qr code in footer section so that what i have to do I have to go for the putter section. In this putter section, so this is the in this the footer section will be like this. You decide that in which place you require QR code. For example, you need you need the QR code for here. What you have to do? You have to press the enter button. Enter button. Then this horizontal line will come below. Now you can see the preview. This will be like this. So you want to add one more line here that is called scan here you want to add scan here then what you have to do you have to press alt uh, just press the f4 select the contents on again you press the f4 bold the font again you press the f4 contents off again you press the f4 bold off here i selected contents on contents off bold on bold off now in between of that you can press alt f4 then you add the static text and that static text you can change by typing yourself like scan here scan here and that preview will become like this scan here but it was very small so let me what uh, let me do a little bit big bigger uh, here so that i need to select different font by pressing f4 you can select the font size 15 font 15 again you take the font 15 off now you see that it was printing in a bigger font now what you have to do you have to little bit take it off middle how to do that you have to set the alignment for example here that is l what you have to do you have to change the left and alignment to center alignment now you can see the preview it will be like this center alignment and you can give the character also no problem 
it will be like this again it was coming left side only then what you have to do you have to uh, we have to uh, keep the cursor here then press the alt f4 once again give some blank space this is the blank space uh, field available you can give almost four to five bank space then it should become right side i'll i'll change the blank space character from four to six now you can see that it was okay another thing here is you want to add one line here before the scan here you want to add one line then what you have to do you have to keep the cursor here then you press the enter then this field will come below and you you, you will get the blank space top of them you will get the blank space here you can here you can add the line like uh, b l v proof f b l v f so this is the command to add the line now you see that one line have been printed here so this type of customization you need to do and let me uh, come back to my actual topic called qr code configuration so here you want to add the qr code so that you need to press f4 shortcut button search q you will get qr code field add it here now now i am adding the format name here this is the dynamic data dynamic qr code so the dynamic qr code this code is f f only for the dynamic qr code we are always using the code called f if it is static qr code so let me tell you about the static qr code as well here if i changing the value f to t then it is called a static qr code then what i need to do let me enter the busy website name here www.busy.in this is the website and this is s is the size s is nothing but size let me increase the size called 1.5 this is the size of the qr code so now this is the this is the static qr code and the dynamic qr code configuration is like this you have to press the qr code here and the dynamic qr code the format name is f here the you need to remove the format name then you can type the format name here what is the type of format name qr info how to know that this format is name is qr info you can see the qr info name here this is the format name for the dynamic dynamic qr code configuration you need to type the qr that is format name here as well as you have to use the f format name f symbol here so first i show you how the dynamic uh, how the static qr code will scan so this is the static qr code and this is the code t and this is the website name www.busy.in this is the text field that is called as it called it as it is a static field so once we scan the qr code automatically our busy software company website will open that is why it is called as static field but dynamic is not like that dynamic qr code means once we scan the qr code the software data will gathered by your mobile phone that is called dynamic data dynamic data is keep on changing customer to customer bill by bill product to product so always the data will keep on changing but static is not like that static remains constant so let me save the configuration uh, save the configuration here then i'll come to my invoice modification here i'll print my three inch paper invoice the qr code is coming like this but one problem is there here it was overlapping the above of the line so what i need to do i need to increase the footer size how to do that directly you can press the control f from here itself we have the shortcut button to configure the invoice directly from the transaction itself for that you need to use the control f shortcut select the invoice document printing advanced select the qr three inch paper here then go to the footer section here you can see the line number the line number is 15 the line number is 15 
So then what you have to do, you have to come to the page setting. Here you can give that line number 15 or else you can give the line number 20, no issue. Increase the footer lines. Again, you come back to the QR invoice generation. So here I'll print one invoice. The invoice will be printed out. So this is the invoice. The QR code is coming like this or else let me again increasing this page settings. Let me increase 25 control P print two. So now this is the QR code. So let me show you how to scan this QR code. For that, I need to share my mobile phone. So let me share the mobile phone here. Try with me, it's a NDSC application. So here, one seven. So this is my mobile number. No, this is a mobile uh, NDSC application. Let me connect with my NDSC application here. As you seen on my screen, this is the mobile phone now. Here, I downloaded one application called QR code scanner, QR and barcode scanner that is available in your Play Store. So let me let me scan this image here. So let me scan this image. Here you can see uh, automatically HTTP www.bz.in. This website will come. Once we press the open button, then it redirected in your website page that is busy dot in website page this is called as static data field the same thing i'll show you some other way for example you want to uh, you want to print the qr code for your whatsapp communication purpose so what you need to do you need to come to the configuration window here here you can remove the www.busy.in and you can type http then wa.me wa.me slash you can wa.me slash for example this is your whatsapp communication so it, this slash this slash is we have to use okay. now i can save the information once again reprint the invoice copy this is your invoice copy scan it then after the scanning, after the scanning, directly you are able to message that particular person. No need to save his contact. No need to save his contact directly. It redirects in your WhatsApp application. Then you can share the contents or save the uh, send the message to that particular person. So this is the way also you can configure the static QR code information in Busy. So now let me come to the actual topic called dynamic QR code configuration. So, so here, three inch that invoice, I'll select in footer section. In the footer section, I'll reduce the QR code size here for one. And let me remove this. Let me remove this, remove this. And uh, if you want, you can remove fully. Again, you press the F4 shortcut button, F4 shortcut button, select the QR code field. Here you can add the format name. Let me add the format name QR info. Info. If you are mistaking or if you are entered wrong uh, spelling here, that time it is not work. So that what we suggesting you to, you that you have to can copy this name from here. You can go to the modify name. Then you can copy the name over here. Come back. Come back to the footer and add it here. So this is the way you can configure the dynamic qr code then you can save the configuration again i will generate one new invoice from here so let me generate one new invoice print so save the information this is the invoice copy and i'll scan the qr code this is the invoice copy scan the qr code here you can see that after successful scanning the mobile phone will give the information about company name, company GST number, invoice number, invoice date, buyer name, buyer GST number, bill amount, tax amount, etc. So this is called as gate pass. The gate pass will become like this. Any point of time, if you want to 
uh, wants to know about that particular hi transaction history or transaction information then you can use this qr code and you can get the information like this so this is the dynamic qr code for the gate pass purpose now let me show you how to configure the payment upi for the payment upi configuration first thing you need to download the qr code for from your google pay phone pay paytm application or beam application that is like this you can go to your phone pay application now let me show you the phone pay application here here you can click on the left side top corner the qr code you will get here qr codes this will be your qr code share the qr code share the qr code through whatsapp into the system I'll, I'll i'm using the whatsapp now let me share the qr code in my whatsapp application because i want to access that qr code in my system so let me sh i'll share the qr code in my personal whatsapp number i received the qr code in my mobile here this is my qr code so now what i need to do i need to scan the qr code with the help of this qr code scanner application so let me scan that qr code in my mobile so after the scanning the mobile phone will get the qr code information like this upi colon double slash pay pa this type of qr code you will get then what you have to do you have to copy the qr code then again again you can share the same qr code in your whatsapp account so i'll share my share the link this is called a link not a qr code this is called as link i share i shared my link in in a uh, link in my whatsapp account then this type of link you will receive just copy that copy that link again you come back to the software here go to the advanced format and you will create one new format that format name you can give it as any any anything it might be upi payment or anything so let me give the name like upi i added the upi name here this is a new format there is no data available in header body footer section of that format what i need to do i need to go to my header portion in the header portion paste that link paste the copied link that link will become like this here here you need to add the some field that field is called as for example i'll show i'll i'll add the field called amount grand total so alt press the alt f4 you can search the name amount grand total in that here you can press hash note down the point here you need to press you need to type hash ncf hash ncf this is the command you need to type over here then this is the question mark in this question mark field if you remove the question mark then you type the company your company name for example the company name is abc company you can type the company name company name and other thing will be same no need to change anything then here so here you need to type the abc tra traders so instead of question mark you need to type the abc traders and the remaining will be this is the code generated by your phone pay scanner phone pay it is a fixed actually here you need to add the amount grand total ncf field and you can press and symbol currency unit here you can give the currency unit inr indian national rupees then you can type mam 1.00 so this is the way you need to configure the link so after this this is, so this this field i added by myself up to this so this field is added by myself and this is generated by the qr code scanner app so then you can save the configuration 
I'll give the name called UPI here. Come back to the three inch paper footer section. Instead of QR info, let me type the name UPI. Save the settings. Here you can select the three inch paper. Why I am uh, exporting the PDF format means sometime if I scan the QR code in display mode, it is not scanning properly. That is why I am using this print desktop. Here, this is the invoice. Take the mobile and scan it. Now you can now you can uh, scan the QR code scanner app or else some other mobile application like phone pay, Google pay, anything it might be. You're able to scan that QR code with uh, other application as well. Paytm, let me select. This is my phone, uh, Paytm application. Scan QR code. Scan QR code, it's opened. Something. So now you can see that 2124, that amount is showing in my phone. 2124, it is showing, uh, but some security reason, phone pay and port Paytm application, the screen screening is uh, uh, enabled, then uh, it is not allowed to uh, show that amount. So that is the point. So any uh, anyway, let me scan the phone pay application once. Here, select the QR code scanner. Go back and scan the QR code. Uh, Paytm, they have some uh, security point because I am sharing the Paytm application through my Anydesk. That is why they're not allowing to show my show my mobile screen. But PhonePay is not like that. Uh, you can see my screen. Here, 2124, that amount is automatically taken by the application. Similarly, if I scan that QR code in my Google Pay, how it is work? Let me check Google Pay. So now let me open my Google Pay application here. Scan the QR code. Uh, Google Pay, they, they also have the certain security privileges settings. So unable to share the Google Google Pay uh, screen after scanning the amount. That is the reason. Anyway, let me cancel this. But Google Pay also taking the amount 2124 and that amount will be freezed. Freezing means after the successful scanning, that amount cannot be editable. That is dynamic. It was fixed actually. But here, let me uh, share some uh, experience from myself. That is, for example, in this UPI application, UPI uh, configuration field, you are typing this MAM, MAM in small letter, as well as this AM in small letter. Then that amount will not be, cannot be freeze. So after uh, typing that word in small letter, small letter, that amount is not freezed. So let me show you. Here I'm uh, printing one more invoice. I'll scan this amount, scan this QR code with phone pay. I'll show you. So I'll scan my QR code here. Here you can see this amount is editable. Anyone they can change the amount like this. Why? Because this configuration. If you are given small letter, then this is the problem. That is why we are suggesting you to type this MAM in capital letter. And this AM in small letter. Suppose you, you are changing this AM in capital letter, then what happened? That also we will see. Now, generate one new invoice here 16. So here you can see. Here you can see that there is amount is not coming. Amount is coming blank. If you are typing that AM, AM is the AM field that is called one field AM. If you are typing that in small letter, sorry, a capital letter, 
then phone pay application cannot capturing the invoice value so this is the point here other than this let me show you how to configure and how to uh, uh, code the invoice information so in which invoice you are paying that amount in which invoice again asked you are paying that amount how to configure that I, here after the mode here you have one option called mode after the mode you can type the symbol and then you can press alt f4 alt f4 then you add the field vch number you can add the field vch number so this is the field vch number and other than this you have to type this sentence word also tn tn is equal to invoice percentage number so this field if you don't know uh, about you can note down the word tn and tn is equal to i'll share this particular link in your chat box as well you can copy the chat uh, copy the particular payment gateway link this is my payment upi link but uh, payment payment upi link you can generate from your uh, phone pay google pay applications but you just note down the example of the upi link i'll share the particular link in your chat box you can copy that link so now let me save the configuration and again i'll generate one new invoice so here you can see 18 i'll scan the qr code and the button changes i did previously that is this one uh, am am i'll type it as small letter Here you can see that uh, the 2124 that amount is coming as freezer freezer value apart from that uh, if you are adding that particular field once we uh, send the value uh, amount to anyone he will get the invoice information as well he will get the invoice information how to get the invoice information let me show you by the screenshot as you can see in my see on, uh, seen on my screen so message internally one message will be composed along with his transaction invoice number as well this is the invoice number i'll making this making this payment again is this that invoice number in this way uh, we are able to configure uh, payment upi codes uh, in qr code configuration this is a very uh, minute configuration but very important configuration and very uh, difficult also but you need to take care certain uh, important points here that is i told you before am you cannot try, uh, type it as capital am you need to type it as small am mam that should you can you, you you have to type mam in capital letter not small letter so these are the uh, certain uh, point you need to note down by yourself and also i already shared the upi configuration link that uh, in your chat box you can copy that link as well and he, if you are uh, uh, generated the link, normally here you will get four question marks. The four question marks means uh, the company name cannot come uh, in your application. So, but if you are typing the name here, then uh, the payer will know that which company I am going to pay. So this is certain points. So this is the dynamic QR con code configurations in busy. So I hope you are enjoyed today's webinar session. Further, if you have any uh, queries and questions, you can call to our help desk team regarding the configuration. Our help desk team will be available 24 into 7 on the below number 8282828282. Also, you can write the mail to us support at the rate busy.in.